All right, we're back looking at our uh, graphical interface for our calculator. Uh, I guess the next thing I want to do is file, save as. I should have done this in the last video, but I forgot. Save as, and we'll go onto the desktop under our Linux calculator directory that we set aside earlier. And I'm going to erase this word calculator, and I'm going to call it GUI, GUI, UI, and save it. All right. And now I'm going to give a name for each one of these buttons. So zero... Here where it says name, let's call it button underscore, and I'm going to copy that because I'm going to be pasting that for the rest of them, button underscore zero. And then for the decimal place, button underscore, I'm going to call it dot, and I'm just going to go all the way up here, button underscore one, button underscore two, button underscore three, and just keep moving on up the line. If this is boring you, fast forward, or you can just do this along with me. Five, six, seven, we got eight, and nine. So now we just gotta knock these out. This is gonna be plus, or I'll just do it like this, add, button underscore subtract button underscore multiply come up here button underscore clear button underscore div, div for divide button underscore sqrt and button underscore equal all right, now that we have all, everything has a name, we have display, and then we have all the buttons named button underscore and what they do. Now what we have to do is we have to set up, we have to kind of create some source code. Um, and what we're gonna do, we're gonna do this in the form of creating slots. So I know if you never worked with this before, it might be confusing, but if you follow along, it's actually pretty simple. Right click on a widget and go to connections. Here it is. Now when I'm inside here, what I have to do is I'm going to select new and it's going to give me an option. I'm going to push new 10 times. So I'm going to have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. This should cover my buttons 0 through 9. So the sender is going to be button 0. The signal is going to be when clicked. The receiver is going to be the actual calculator itself, which is called calculator. Calculator is the name of the dialog box and we're going to create a new slot so we're going to click edit slots and I'm just going to create a bunch of functions in here so I'm going to do a new function I'm going to have zero we're going to do zero new function and this will make sense later I promise one new function two three, four, all the way up, five, and then we're going to do six, seven, eight, nine. So we have a function for uh, zero through nine, and now we need to make sure that we have functions for the rest. So we're going to have, what other, we have other buttons, like we have uh, add, We'll do an add function. We'll do a subtract function. We'll do a multiply function. We'll do a divide function. We'll do a square root function and equal function and a clear function. I think that's everything. It's very possible I may have missed one, so we'll just run through this. So now that we set up all of those slots, right here I can select the zero slot because zero is the one I set aside for it so the button is going to be clicked and when it's clicked it's going to go to the calculator and from there it's going to run the function zero which is not written yet but we'll write it later okay and then just do this for all of them button one when clicked calculator and this will be one move on down the line two clicked calculator two, three, clicked, 
calculator three all the way down the line okay so now I have all those set up and while I was running through I noticed I had a spelling mistake I'm gonna go here to edit slots and my multiply function where is it this this is supposed to be M uh, M U L T okay I have all this set up so now I need to create some more so I have button 0 through 9 now I have to do decimal place then I have to do plus minus multiply clear divide square root equals we'll start first with dot which is decimal then we'll do clicked calculator and we don't have a function but we need to declare one so we'll edit slots and we'll create one called dot okay and now we'll do dot so I'm gonna select the buttons here so we'll do decimal plus which will be button add then we'll do minus which is button subtract add subtract multiply divide and then of course we have clear square root and equals I think I have everything all set up so then we'll make all these clicked we'll make all these calculator and we'll make all these their corresponding functions so this will be so I'll do add and then this one will be subtract multiply divide has to be calculator and this will be clear sqrt and equals and I know that was a pain for, or, painful ordeal but we have done something incredibly important we will select OK file and save it alright close QT designer we're gonna come back and we're gonna start working with KDevelop